Okay, so now you've made your predictions, let's check the fundamental frequency first. So to get that, you would need half of the frequency we have for the second harmonic. So half of 23 is 11.5. So let's change that frequency now. Okay, so this is 11.5 and you can see this is indeed the fundamental frequency for the piece of string. We've got one loop here and so we can see half a wavelength at the moment. Yeah, so next you were asked to predict the third harmonic. So that's going to be three times this fundamental frequency of 11.5. So three times 11.5 is 34.5. So let's have a look at what happens when we change this up to 34.5. Okay, you can see at 34.5, we have the three loops in the piece of string, showing this is the third harmonic. And then our next harmonic is going to be four times 11.5, which is 46. So here's what you see at 46 hertz. So you can nicely see the four loops there or two wavelengths. Remember, this is one wavelength. Okay, just some definitions in case you come across these words. Normal modes describes the way in which a string fixed at both ends can vibrate. The fundamental mode is the one where we just have lambda on two as the length of the string. The second harmonic where we have the two loops. The third harmonic where we have the three loops, etc. You may also see the term quantization, which refers to when only certain frequencies of oscillations are allowed, we say that a system is quantized. So when we can only have certain discrete values, this is where the word for quantum mechanics comes from, as quantum mechanics is to do with atoms only being able to release certain specific amounts of energy or certain frequency photons. Okay, a question. The middle C string on a piano has a fundamental frequency of 262 hertz, and the string for the first A above middle C has a fundamental frequency of 440 hertz. Calculate the frequency of the next two harmonics on the C string, and then part B, if the A and C string have the same linear mass density mu and length L, determine the ratio of tensions in the two strings. 